Hello folks, welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play The Elder Scrolls Online. Today's episode is brought to you by Travesty. Thank you very much, Travesty, for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. It's also brought to you by an annoying kitty as well. She's like, oh, you're recording. Let me walk into your lap slash under the keyboard. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, kitty, that's super fun. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to come over here to where this uh, crypt is. To see if we can't find a quest. Um, so far, I've actually not found one. Found one, rather. There's a boss mob. That's that's really strange that there's not one close by. We might go check that house style icon over there. You know, I think I was looking on the mini map too. I think it might not show up there. I was like, hey, maybe this that person. Nope, it is a... That is a player. But maybe if I talk to the player, maybe they'll give me a quest. Dynamic. The players make their own content. Uh, let me check by the waypoint again really quick. There's also like a gate thing over here. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if that's... Because it doesn't even say like in the key what this is. Rondas Ancestral Tomb. Somebody mentioned... I haven't had a chance to respond yet. Somebody mentioned in the last video about the... the scruffings or whatever. I mean, I know what the scruffing is for. I just, um... Oh, there's the, a board. So is this... I mean, it's not a public dungeon, is it? We will, we'll grab a quest and then see what's inside. Calling it adventurers, sell swords, and spell slingers, heroes, and ne'er-do-wells. Do you long for a greater challenge? Try your might at the battlegrounds where your games of glory and gore await you. We seek the greatest champions of the land for our contest of strategy and skill. Speak to Battlemaster Riven for more. Oh, it sounds like the PvP crap. Uh, let me see. If it is, we're going to skip that. Because we do not care about that. Uh, uh, okay, well, I guess we'll talk to him to see if it is, in fact, for this quest. Welcome. You stand amidst the circle of champions. A guild formed to test the greatest fighters of the realm in games of skill. Do you have what it takes? Of course. Now, we have many games... Ah, uh, okay, yeah, it is. All right, so we're going to skip that. We may do the PvP in this game at some point. Maybe. But uh, to say it's going to be low priority is understatement of the year. All right, let's go west here real quick. You know, I was even like, you know, maybe I should try to find the NPC first. It's like, no, no, it'll be fun. We'll try to find the NPC together. There's a delve. Eh. Yeah, let's just go north. Uh, let's go to the, like, the house. I don't know, it's not a house, but it's, uh... Rawr, I know you're angry. Super angry. Uh, how do I get out of here? This looks like a good way. Good thing I... This horse doubles as a goat. Come on. This off. There's a chest there that I kind of want. Yeah, let's get that chest. I want the chest. <laughs> I forgot I've still got that ward. That's fine. We'll keep the ward for now. I kind of want to level it up anyway. Because it could be good in, si in certain situations. Ooh, storm calling 49. Oh, that's right. I wanted to look at some of the uh, passives. We'll do that once we've got this... The goods of this chest transferred into a better location. A.K.A. my backpack. Damn. You know what it says? The thing I want most? is house items. I'm like, ah, if it's not a house item, I don't want it. Keep me out. Hey, mud crab, that's your fault. You walked into that. I take no responsibility for that. Also, I want this rune stone. I seem to be needing rune stones. Hell yes, decorative wax, worth it. Actually, it was, because it's for housing stuff. River Troll, we'll, we'll leave you be. God, son of a- oh, come on. It went right above his ankle. I actually don't know if horses- oh, yeah, they've got ankles, right? Yeah, I mean, I've ridden horses enough, I should know this. You know, I wasn't a horseologist or anything. An Equestarian or whatever. But, uh... I was around where they, where they were getting shod and stuff, so I should know that. Shod as in put shoes on, not shot. 
as in put a gun to their heads, even though I definitely wanted to do the uh, latter many times. I'm not a big fan of horses. Not a big fan. They're very unpredictable. That's some bad instances. Having them blow up in the dead of night just due to some thunder. Had one just about roll over on me. Actually, he technically did roll over on me. Roll over my, onto my leg. But, all right, let's see. For the let's... 80th time, help is on the way. I've received assurances from House Rhetorin. They will handle this trouble in the mine. You need only be patient. Patient? The foreman just dragged another egg hand out of the mine and he's worse than the rest. This is on your head, Mobana. Mo Boehner, more problems, am I right? I presume you've come here seeking work. I'm afraid the mine may be closed for some time yet. Not too long, of course. Anyway, feel free to stay as long as your coin purse allows. Our innkeeper will no doubt appreciate the business. Some of our egg hands have fallen ill. We've elected to keep them in the mines until we find the source <laughs> of the sickness. Just a precaution, mind you. Surveyors from House Redoran should be arriving any minute to... You know, survey. Trapped? No, don't be absurd. We just don't lift them out. Itching to leave? Look, House Redoran will sort this out. Speak to Foreman Lothar if you have other questions. He's just over there, by the mine entrance. I have other matters to attend to. Save the people of N Nisus? Nisus? Wait, don't shut me out. I have different songs I can sing. Think of the miners. Damned fanatics. They've no respect for the craft. I thought it was a pretty good movie, actually. Though I am biased, because I do have a big crush on uh, Nev Campbell. Had one on her. That's like the only reason I watched Party of Five back in the day. Just because I wanted to see uh, Nev Campbell. Where is this foreman at? Oh, come on. Don't act like you guys didn't have a crush on Nev Campbell. I probably still would if she was around. I don't think she does movies anymore. We have to... we have to fix it! Bah. Fresh air's not going to do the trick, boss. Whatever's down there has still got a grip on him. Gonna get sick, boss. Gonna sit on my butt here, boss. Gonna hold my hands in my, uh, hand... Hold my hands in my hands, boss. Take my shirt off, boss. Well, it's about damn time. You Daffy House Redoran types have... Wait. You're not House Redoran. Ah, house Tea Party. Should've known better. You'd best move on, stranger. This mine's cursed. It'll snatch you up just like poor Thugbruth if you aren't careful. And sorry for growling and moping. We've just been waiting for these damned Redoran surveyors so long. Kind of lost hope, you know? My egg hands are in buckets of trouble. Some strange noise is turning their brains to pudding, driving the Kwama mad too. So you kept them inside so that they could keep hearing the noise that drives them crazy. That seems like a fantastic idea. Yo, hey, my hands burn when they're in this fire. Hmm. Just to be safe, let's keep your hands in the fire. It's put a hex on them. They won't budge. They just pace and hum and blubber like idiots. Practically had to beat Thugbruth senseless to drag them out here. Oh, something in that noise, that song. It's got them by the beards and won't let go. Maris, mercy. Thank you, friend. I'm supposed to wait until the Redoran surveyors show up, but to summon God with that. I want my people home safe. Do what you need to do, but don't stay in there long. I don't want that song to claim you too. Oh, well, it's barely a song. It's just a mash of notes, you know? It crawls up behind your eyeballs and makes you dizzy, paranoid. So dubstep. I've been working in these mines for years, and I've never heard the like. Might have something to do with all the quakes. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but Red Mountain's been pretty ornery lately. We've been dealing with minor cave-ins for weeks. Could be that one of those tremors uncovered something it shouldn't have. Well, I hope you didn't let those cave-ins drink, because they were minor cave-ins, eh? Minor cave-ins, you don't want- let's go inside. And let's investigate the disturbance in the mine. Don't worry, I don't have ears, I can't hear. So we're fine. Can somebody say the name of this town? Nisus Genesis? There's like five different ways that you could pronounce this. Genesis, Nisus, Nisus, Genesis. 
The size. I'm gonna guess that's probably the least likely. Hello, kitty. I'm so glad you're back. Luckily, she fell for the uh, wrapping paper trap that I set up on the desk. She's very easily fooled. Like, insanely easily fooled. Like, embarrassingly so. If she could actually feel shame, and I assure you, she cannot. Um, Let's go with uh, stamina recovery. Sure, why not? But I have anything else to eat. I, I need to go by the bank. Get some food and drink. And what have yous. Oh no, I'm immobilized. How shameful. Uh. I'm just gonna cast that because nothing else to cast. Mm. You can keep rocking all you want. Oh, that's cool looking little thing there. Look, it's like a bug with mushrooms on its back. That's pretty neat. I want one of those as a pet. Not to replace one of you two. You guys are irreplaceable. They are probably replaceable with like actual dummies. How did you not get, uh, get snared? Whoa, little bastard. Come on. Ugh. Thank you. All right, so where are we? Oh, there's two areas that we're looking for. What's over here? Uh, nothing. I just thought, you know, why else would it be there? Surely there's a wonderful secret there. <laughs> yeah, just running on through, are we? Oh, wait. Whoa. What in the shit? Uh, no, here what? That was crazy. What the fuck was that? That's more of a horn. Swimming in there. Can you see the melody? The harmony? Please, you have to see it. A song. The song. Do you see how it shimmers? Do you see its tones? Its colors? It should help make things clear, make things whole, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It has to be fixed. Open your ears. You have to find it. The melody. It's shattered and hidden. You see? Tucked away in the noise, but it's there. It has to be. It has to be. Thanks, ma'am. You've been incredibly helpful in figuring out this mystery. She's crazy. Not worthwhile. Uh. Why is it so hard to nuke with this thing sometimes? God, the damage it does, though, is dope. Now, why can't I just keep this ability all the time? Oh, right, because it's dope. It would be OP, OP as hell if I could just do that all the time. Also, frankly, boring as hell. Come on. Don't be charging me, you little bitch. Uh, nope. Ah, here we are. Hello, Galard Brar. It should be quiet. It should be sleeping. Damn ground quakes. Must have been. Must have been. Love, but it's over now? What are you? No. I can't leave. Not yet. I tried to follow the foreman. I did, but it won't let me. Not until everything is as it should be. Not until everything is perfect. Yes, yes, the song. You've heard it, I can tell. It should be quiet. It isn't ready, it isn't perfect. But someone interfered. The ground shook and all oh, the meddling, they broke it, they ruined it. Yes, yes. But not one of us. No, it's a tinkerer, a meddler, poking around and breaking things, soiling them. He has to be punished. Yes, the song has to be pure, has to be perfect. If not, the consequences, oh, oh the consequences. Well, you are marginally more helpful. If not uh, a notch or two crazier. Let us delve deeper into the mine. So, there's the thing that's making the song, but then there's the other thing that interfered with the song. <laughs> okay. You got a beautiful singing voice, ma'am. Uh, those miners didn't make it. Oh, hello. How are you? 
The Kwama Queen lies motionless. From the surroundings, it looks like its own Kwama children were responsible. It's dead. dead and gone, just like the rest. The song made it happen. Made them do it. All right. Kwama, Breton, Queen, Egghand, all the same. All just meat. They killed her. Killed their own queen. Do you see what it does? What it's doing? Broken. All broken. Just the mine for now. But soon, everywhere. It's spun out of control. Can't you feel it? It echoes and grows. Echoes and grows. Soon it'll be too loud for the mine to contain. Everyone will hear it. Everyone. And then... No! We have to fix it. Has to be fixed. Has to be perfect. I do like that noise, though. It is uh, equally imposing and impressive and just cool sounding. You mess with me, you mess with our homies. No, you don't quite have the key, ma'am. Just stop doing it. Um, you know what? I really should. What? Um, I meant to do this earlier. Uh, let's look at our passives. We hit 50 Daedric Summoning. Uh, increase your max health by... Oh, this will increase our max health by 8%. We'll go ahead and do that. More health is a good thing, given our incredibly low hit points. Increase your health and recovery by 10. Meh. Oh, yeah. Those are not worthwhile at all. Um, we're going to leave that as is. Storm is almost 50. And then we'll be able to upgrade those. I want to check something here. Destruction staff is at 48. Resto is at 25. Wow. But we still don't even have mag ma that magic ah, max destruction. What is this one? I put one point in it. Oh, yeah. Let's go and grab the next point of this. This increases flame staff damage by another 4%. Sure, I'll take that. I still don't like this one. Restore 1800 magic when you kill an enemy with a destruction staff ability. That's not really, I mean, that's, mana's not really been an issue for us at all. Like, the only time it's an issue is when we have one long, dragged out fight, drug out fight. Not. I do like that noise, though. It, it seriously is really cool. Lightning! Unlimited power! Damn, that's so much damage. It makes me so happy in the pants. Whoa. That's cool. I'm very intrigued by this quest so far, I gotta say. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it so far. That shroom beetle. Nice. Get vaporized. Must be that extra 4%. Get a few kills with the resto staff equipped. Whoa, God. Did I actually mean to drop down there? Oops. Got a siren of the caves. That's a weird, damn it. That's a weird damage thing. Like, it looks like it's pulling life out of them, which I guess it maybe is doing that. Yeah, stay in there, biatch. No, I said stay in there, biatch. What about stay in there, biatch? Do you not understand? Hello? Oh, God damn it! It had ran out. I was trying to do the lightning nuke thing, and it swapped over. But yeah, I do want to get ward up, at least to the point where I can morph it. I want to see what it morphs into. And yes, I do realize I could look it up. Every time it- that isn't a lure- an alluring song. I'll give them that. Like, every time it goes off, I kind of want to stop and listen to it. And do what it says. And obey it like it were my mother and my master. Yes, it is a very nice song. I like it a lot. Uh, 
Ah, it's a wonderful voice. It's a shame you get stuck being a miner, man. Oh my god, it actually allowed me to, uh... To dot that one. I really should put my lightning nuke on one of these, <laughs> these bars. For fights like this. Because I've got it on my ultimate bar, obviously. Ah, nice Conjure Ward up to rank 2. But yeah, obviously I have it on my, my ultimate bar. But, I should switch it, switch it over. But I don't know what I would put in its place. Oh. Boom! Get stunned on. Yeah, really what I should be doing is whenever I turn in a quest, quest, always switch over to Resto. How you miners sound exactly the same too is so weird. That must be part of the, uh, part of the effect. Why don't we pass the Dwarven Barrier? Would murdering this thing count? Buff up the pet. Hey! Somebody wants your shit here. Damn it, pet! What are you doing? I don't know, but I don't like it. But are you summoning these things? You need to knock that shit off. Whoa, hey, where's that coming from? Ah, shit. What? Uh, potion. I always have to remember. Resummon the pet. Get the ward back up. I like how the ward, uh, the ward actually hits both pets. That's pretty nice. Because the heal only heals the clan fear. Well, semi somewhat obviously. I guess that did it. Wait, what? Why did my quest change? I must have, I must have hit T when I was like spamming my keyboard. Is this my want? Oh, that seems nice. Nothing over here. Yeah, I definitely need to like use potions more often. Can we just use this? Oh, well. That was easy enough. Excuse me, sir. Got shit to do. No offense, no offense, but I ain't got time for your bullshit. Yeah, this is where the uh, ward kind of sucks because we don't have any good like damage, straight up damage, other than the ultimate. Keep that aggro. I was even with the uh, pet buff. The flying pet buff. One that does more damage. Damn it. Move just out of range. I totally really do like that noise. That's pretty cool. Root him, please. Oh, I thought you could root these. Go ahead and dot him up. Get bent. Nice. We got a diagram for dwarven something or another. Can't see it because the icon's covered up. Yeah, I might just save up ultimate for, like, single target enemies that are tougher than the rest. He loved the pants. How is he? Yeah, he could use a little bit more. I want to check this cavern, though. Ha! <laughs> it does work, because every time it goes off, like, I want to hear its beautiful melody. 
I don't know if I necessarily want to get in a corner in the fetal position and cry and hum the song over and over, but maybe after a couple more hours. All right. I don't see anything over here, which is fairly suspicious. But whatever. Let's go ahead and head to the next area. <laughs> maybe they're uh, trying to find the perfect tune to make everybody poop their pants. That's what they're doing. Ma'am, you all right? She's fine. The br she, they're trying the brown note. I can't remember what it was called. The brown note. Totally real scientific thing. Oh, I really thought I had it that time. Curse you, you buzzing hunk of junk. This is spite, isn't it? I'm sorry I broke you, all right? Oh, I should never have touched this damn thing. Stupid Revis. Just have to tinker with everything, don't you? Oh. Cool, blimey. Oh! Gracious! I feel the same way. You really gave me a heart attack. I, if all those other people here scared sure, me too. You? Look, I'm near to fixing this thing, I promise. Wait, how are you not a mumbling imbecile? Uh, uh, don't bother answering. I can't hear a thing. Here's a plug, see? Civilize? Uh, oh dear, you're just as mad as the others, aren't you? Look, try to focus. This resonator is broken. I need to set these dials to the correct sequence, but I can't hear the tones. Are you aware of any sequence it could be set to? Just nod. Well, that's disappointing. But uh, random tinkering is the mother of invention, right? I need you to turn the dials until you think they're in the right position. Then pull that lever. Anything you might have heard or seen could help. I believe in you. Ooh, now this could be interesting. Or ultra frustrating. Let's find out which. Oh god. I don't think that's it. Sorry. Oh, wait a minute. I Oh, I see. So the little red mark is going up at the, so it's even though it's Oh, it does have three positions. Okay. So all right, let me listen to this. And I'm going to have to try to figure this out. Uh this might take a while. That might be it. No, that's not. Wait, does it only have two? I know it does have three. Definitely not the top one, I don't think. <laughs> the guys over there, oh, please God, my brain is jelly. All right, I think that's it. No. Maybe. So, it's combining two things I'm terrible at. Identifying tone and memorizing anything. Ooh, no. Like, those just sound like bad. This, it, that could be one of them. No, god damn it. I was clearly looking at this one. No. I'm gonna guess this plays them all. No. Well, that didn't work, but keep trying. There are only 1,024 possible combinations after all. <laughs> we'll have it in no time. All right. Hmm. Uh, we'll give us a few more seconds, and if I can't get it, I'll uh, stop recording, because this is probably going to be very difficult for me to get properly. I think even this one's too loud. Er, wrong. No, definitely not. 
I feel like there's one on each that's like flat out definitely not it. Ah, I see it. I see it. So when it's right, I think, it goes yellow. So I have the first and last one correct. The other three are incorrect. You have two correct, three that are wrong. It's like a Price is Right, uh... Price is Right game. Uh, oh god, those both sound awful. Come on. Goddamn pet in the way. Just like real life. <clears throat> Something's happening. I think you got it. <laughs> oh, great. Yes, that's it. It's working. I hope. What happened? Come on. Let's get out of here. Ha, see? Everything worked out. Uh, I have a small camp set outside of this room. We can talk there. Oh, this is a par party Jared wouldn't like. All the miners left. It's a party Jared wouldn't like. All the miners let. Never mind. Let's go. That's what you come for. Grade A gameplay and 100% inoffensive, prudent, relative jokes. I like how they did have that secondary, like, identifying mechanism with the lights, because that would have taken me forever. Especially not being able to replay the original tune. Also, that makes me think, where was the original tune coming from in the first place? Ah, oh, the hero of the hour. You have my deepest thanks and most heartfelt compliments. The fact that you fixed it in your clearly adult condition. Exemplary work. Just exemplary. Seems like it's quieted down. I do hope it stays that way. I can offer little more than a guess. When you corrected the melody, the resonator returned to a dormant state. Some kind of slumbering function to conserve energy, maybe. What matters is that it's quieted down. Thank goodness. I feel like this might be some kind of a reference to something in the uh, original Morrowind, maybe? Like, it feels like it's so out of place and so ill-described. I feel like it might be something that was from Morrowind. Obviously, again, Morrowind's in the future. The game Morrowind is in the future, but... Oh dear, I hope so. Their exposure was fairly limited. If they had remained for another day, though, difficult to say. Please, let the foreman know how truly sorry I am. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to call on me at my tower. I do wish I could have done a more thorough study of the resonator. What do you think they would do with such a device? Enslavement, perhaps? No, not enslavement. Oh, that's too obvious. Please, after all you've done, I'd say you're entitled to ask me several somethings. A dwarven resonator. A tonal amplification device meant to alter thought patterns. That's my hypothesis, anyway. The tones clearly have a powerful effect on the brain. To the dwarves, though? It might have sounded like a lovely song and nothing more. Well, not slavery in the conventional sense. The tone wouldn't compel the listeners to work so much as it would make working a source of profound pleasure. So the workers would be eager to work, you see? They might have even paid for the privilege. Well, again, slavery is a clumsy description. It's, it's more like a transaction. Labor in exchange for brief, pleasurable sensations. Hmm. Much like the skooma trade. I guess that's not much better than slavery, is it? Of course, this is all just conjecture. Now, that would be an interesting, uh, interesting angle on that, right? The idea that it's like, okay, you know, you can have this job where you're working in the mines, but we'll do it in such a way that you actually love to do it. Like, obviously, just thinking, like, oh, God, why would you ever love to mine? But if they had a way to make it so that, like, whatever the job was, you just love doing it. Like, that's that's a pretty, uh, 
pretty interesting angle to go with. And I get what he's saying. It definitely would not be slavery. Uh, it, you could even, like, say it as a vacation type thing, like he's saying, right? Like, if they can make the, pl the pleasure from doing this work so good that it is like a vacation, yes, you could actually pay to come and mine for them. That's, I mean, it's... It's really bizarre and twisted when you think about it that way, but a uh, very, very cool idea, I think. I hail from House Telvani, a house obsessed with magical antiquity. We suffer from a peculiar need to tinker with, well, everything. I won't make excuses. I knew there were risks, but honestly had no idea that the miners would be exposed. Of course not. I've spent years surveying this ruin. I took so many precautions. Unfortunately, when I engage the Resonator, there are a number of minor tremors. They breach the wall between the ruin and the mine. The rest is tragic history. Yes, several days in fact. I erected a series of oral wards to protect myself from the Resonator's effects, but I could tell I was slipping. Another few days and I'd have been as mad as those egg hands. I had to get creative. Yes. The wondrous power of Kwama Wax. Given a few minutes of heat exposure, it hardens and expands. Great for plugging leaks, mending furniture, and protecting you from ancient dwarven brain scramblers. <laughs> First-rate stuff. The duct tape of the Elder Scrolls world. You don't mind if I take your stuff, right? I mean, since you're not even giving me a reward directly, you're basically saying, go to somebody else to get your reward. You won't mind that, I'm sure. Good. Very good. All right, let's go turn in and we'll wrap it up. So yeah, I'm guessing the only quests that are, are multi parts longer quests are the city quests. I didn't quite know what that icon is. I guess it looks just like a little dub two story house. I guess it's like a town. Not a city, whatever the distinction might be. Oh, is that guy? Is it this guy's tower? Oh, that's a window. I just want to see. Eggmine Barracks. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the house that has the. Or the city that has the. Town that has the houses that look like big bug shells. Carapaces. You did it. My egg hand started stumbling out of the mine a few minutes ago. They've got some bumps and scrapes and more than a few headaches, but otherwise no worse for the wear. What happened down there? A dwarven what? How did... I've worked those mines for years and I've never seen a scrap of dwarf mischief. Where is this snow-backed dark elf? It was that Telvani Skiva Revis, wasn't it? Huh. More Telvani trickery. And to think, I'd almost warm to that little dolt. Ugh. Enough grumbling. I'm just grateful that my people are alive and safe. It's only because of you, friend. I'll raise a bottle of mead to you every night from now until world's end. Please, take this. You've more than earned it for what you've done. With a couple of days rest and a few stiff drinks, we'll be up and running again. I guess I should go check on the queen at some point. She's probably a nervous wreck. Always been a little skittish, that one. What? No, that can't be. The Queen's the heart of the mine. We mine eggs for Mara's sake. Can't very well run an egg mine without eggs, can you? Uh, I I'm sorry. It's been a rough few days. It was that damned dwarf magic, wasn't it? Revis, I want you to find that scrawny little wizard and tell him the bills come due. He wants to help? Well, now's the hawking time. If he doesn't fix this, we'll sick the redderin on him. He doesn't want that, believe me. Revis lives just north of here. You'll see a tangle of old rope bridges and rocks. Kine only knows what that wizard does out there. Make sure you really lay into him, huh? I'd do it myself, but I've got to take care of this lot. Ah, of course not. Too busy praying and hollowing out bugs, no doubt. But make no mistake. If they find out a Talvani mage has been poking around in their territory, they'll come down on this place like a Donstar Gale. Now that's a question for Revis. Frankly, I don't give a damn how he fixes it. He just needs to fix it. Tell him to use some of that Talvani magic to conjure up a queen or something. Wait, that's... 
A terrible idea. It'll probably end up eating us. Then it'll fall to the houses to sort this mess out. Of course, they'll probably be too busy posturing and politicking to help us. It'll be the egg hands that suffer most. You can count on that. I knew that Telvani would betray us eventually. We should have cast him out years ago. All right, so yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like we actually started a new quest. So we'll do that next video. Uh, find out uh, what about what we can do about uh, getting a new queen. That'll be fun. By the way, you would think they'd have a backup plan. Like, your entire industry relies on a single queen. Like, what if she died of natural causes or a cave-in or some shit? Like, you didn't think of that? Oh, well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Travis D for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave comments in the comment section below and like my videos if you like them. It does help me out a bunch, and I'll see you next time.